Hello, friend. All right. Look at that face. I did that. Okay. <laughs> I started this video earlier. God's standards are so high and how often we fall short of them. And I think sometimes we forget um, and how necessary it was for Jesus to die on the cross for us. Especially if you believe in Jesus Christ. That's, that's like why you have hope. What are you putting in? Because if it's not honoring God, it's honoring the devil. Um, but I just wanted to finish it off and I wanted to talk about just God's standards. And I think um, so often we forget how high God's standards are. We forget that according to God, looking at a man or woman lustfully is considered adultery. <laughs> Don't mind my mom talking in the background. Um, and hating a brother or a sister is was considered murder um and we forget like god's standards are so high and god's standards are so high because sin is so big and sin is such a thing and i think in this culture where sin is so easily minimized and it's not that big of a deal it is that big of a deal and we forget especially as christians that jesus died on the cross for our sins he died on the cross for our sins um and he took all that punishment all that weight of our sins onto him excuse me um onto him um and the death that we deserved truly because that's what we deserve he took the death that we deserved and put it onto himself um and and i think that comes out sometimes in the way we live you know i found myself recently watching videos where the language was just constantly atrocious and i realized wait like that's not god's standard you know um god's standard is so much higher than that like if you're a Christian, yes, there is grace, there is forgiveness, but the way we live our lives should be reflecting to God. You know, In the books that we read, this is a big one, especially like in reading communities, you know, it's just seen as a little bit of spice or, you know, a little extra, a little extra something. Um, but reading like sex scenes and reading like sex and the movies we watch full of sex and series and, and just how, what we watch, you know, um, it has to be honoring to God and, and so I want to encourage you um uh pornography that's not honoring to god you know that is an addiction and not honoring to god can be um and so i just wanted to encourage you the music we listen to just everything that we listen to if you are a christian what are you listening to what are you filling your mind with and is it reflecting the high standard that jesus has called you to because jesus doesn't call you to be like the world to do exactly what the world does he calls you um to follow him and forsake all else and to listen to him and so if you are feeling convicted whether it's watching tv series movies youtube whatever it is reading whatever it is um i would listen to that and listen to the holy spirit but above all just a heart check you know this is just a heart check video um and I'm speaking straight to myself here as well. Like, listen, this is not me. Like, look at all of you. No, no, no. This is me um, also looking at myself. Um, and just remember the sacrifice that Jesus made. Jesus did not die on the cross so that we could go back to our old sins. He died on the cross to set us free. Oh, yo. <laughs> I'm just like fire. Um, Not like me, the what I'm saying, but like on a roll. Um, He there we go um he died on the cross to set us free from sin not for us to be in bondage to sin again um and so how's your heart friend how's your life um remember in proverbs 19 it says i'll put it on the screen it says um just as water reflects like someone's face um so the so the words reflect the heart you know um what comes out of your mouth is a direct reflection of what your heart is and where your heart is at you know um and so heart check where you're at and are you honoring what Jesus did on the cross or are you taking it for vain? You know, do you, have you understood the magnitude of being set free of not having to spend eternity in hell, but spending eternity in heaven with Jesus, with God, um, because of his sacrifice and what are you, you know, um, and it's completely free. You don't have to earn it. Um, that's not his heart. You don't have to earn it, but now that you have it and that you have access to what Jesus did, how you're going to live your life. And so that's my challenge to you this week. Um, that's my challenge to me too. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Also, look at this tree behind me. It is literally like almost my height. Um, in two videos, I'll share the vlog of when I like went to get it or like, yeah, getting that plant. Um, and this heart has been, this video has been on my heart for a while. It's been on my heart for a while and I've kind of been pushing it off and I think I might do a second video like just more in depth, but I think just like 
as Christians, we are called to live lives set apart, holy and set apart. I'm reflecting God. And are we doing that in everything we do? And that's my question to you. And so, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you next week, Monday, or maybe even, I think actually I'm going to do an extra video this week. So I'll see you in the next video, but definitely next week, Monday, 12 o'clock South African <laughs> standard time. I don't know what it is. I'm um, 12 PM. Yeah. How are you living your life? And is it for Jesus? And is it honoring what Jesus did on the cross? Okay. Bye.